Hello, we are back. I'm Sai, and this is Cyberpunk. Now, we did some side missions. Well, or maybe only one. I kind of want to do some nearby gigs. Actually, let's just use the map for that. Catch a tiger's toe. Which one is this? Oh, this is the one that our girl Regina sent a message about. Here we are with our toy katana that we also have to try out. Site of an accident. Okay. <laughs> Physics. This looks awfully familiar, like uh, like our apartment building. Actually, how are we looking on weight? We are still kind of fine, but oh, I want to try this, but that needs smart link. Oh, we have a bunch of these. These guns look kind of like uh, Han Solo weapons from Star Wars, like a blaster. Why is everyone got it out for me? Mm, you know what I'm realizing? There are all of these weapon manufacturer and like, you know, all of these tech corporations. And it seems like Cyberpunk mainly focuses on Arasaka from what we've seen. This, you know, if you like, like all, all these like weird as um i guess all the ones with the japanese name are like arasaka but you, you get it what i mean it seems like one big evil corporation where probably the others are not much better maybe that will change yeah so Still don't know shit about subnets. No way they trick me. Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough in a fight against multiple sclerosis. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with implant technology. But the experts at Biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long term undirected repair to the neural tissue. Upload bad malware to the system. Let's actually read the quest. Agent saboteur type, uh, mega building, age 111. Sorry, 11. Bad got in touch with me. They like short nicknames and simple gigs. So I spare you the fix of spiel and get right to the point. You find bad malware attached to this message. You have to download it. Just be careful, it's hello dangerous. And then upload it to the subnet in the age 11 mega building. Piece of cake, right? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you have the tiger scrolling on the prowl. I just added a bunch of words that weren't in the text. Bet's plan is to attack some Arasaka Samnat and use Age 11 as a smokescreen. Clever, right? Instead of leading to them, all traces of Bet's breach will re lead right back to the mega building. FYI, our Neutronal already hacked the mega building elevator, so getting into the server room won't be a problem. Okay, not much big details.
Okay. We have more cameras. What are these guys weak? Fire. Just quickly checking if there is like anything we could use to mess with these guys. We could use that to a distract, but eh. I think we are up there, right? No, we are down somewhere. Let's actually turn it off. his optics quickly oh, it's so slow huh? shit don't stand up Who is Dr. Paradox? Who is Dr. Paradox? Who is hiding behind a distorted mask? Unsurprisingly, Doc Paradox won't say. After all, he's breaking the law. He has to protect his identity. If he revealed even the tiniest silver about, sliver about himself, Netwatch agents would be at his door in less than a minute. But think about it. Think what kind of person could successfully hide from the world's most powerful corporations for years. Who could hack into encrypted TV channels? Who could disclose highly classified corporate secrets? The answer is obvious. Doc Paradox is Doc's, sorry. Doc Paradox is one of them. He is a puppet controlled by the establishment. To what end? Maybe this is how corporations funnel our anger and frustration in a safe and controlled manner. Through a rebel who will never go so far as to issue a call to arms. Maybe he's being used to reveal facts that hurt the competition, or maybe he's just a branding opportunity. In a month or two, Avante could put out a new Doc Paradox line for us to wear our dispose disapproval. Only time will tell, but for Christ's sake, don't listen to a word out of this phone's mouth. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, apparently that guy can't see me. Okay. That box is indeed floating. That guy is sleeping. We should be good. Shit. At a starting rate of 100 million euro dollars. A hefty price, yes. 
But can you truly put a price on your security? That sounds smoothly. Hopefully, once we go further away, the markers will disappear. Yes. That's happy, which means I'm happy, which means you get your eddies and everyone's happy. Contract closed. Thanks, V. Now, in that one, I'm not sure if the stealth actually matters. Hmm. Let's just assume it did. Wasn't this the scene of that accident? Hmm. Let's see, I think there's some... Oh, there's a Reaper Dock right here. Let's visit that. Is this the one in Kabuki? I think this is Kabuki, right? Oh. Um, maybe we can take a little shortcut. I haven't complimented the game, I think, uh, on how nice it is that you can... You know, the climbing mechanics. I know it's like a thing in games, but many don't execute them well. And in this, you can, and in this, you can just basically climb on most things, make your own way. It doesn't matter that much, but it feels fluid. It's nice. Where are we going in here? Alright, oh, it's this one. Now, what do you have? Do you have a smart targeting one? Only the cheap one. Oh, damn it, are you going to make us go back to Vic? Subdermal armor. Don't have that sand thingy as well. I, I forget its name. So this dog doesn't really have anything great for us. I guess it was only the cyber decks. This is better. 10 base ram, 8 buffer size, 6 slots. Hmm. But it's all our money. Or we could even save up 45,000 to finally get some new legs. Then we could do a double jump or a charge jump. Any jobs? There's an assault in progress. There's also another Reaper Dock here. Let's visit that one as well. I guess I should have called my car. No, oh, you. Been doing biz here long? Two years, maybe more. Wasn't easy at first, but I made the right connections. Half the heavy lifting in business is the networking. This and the will to be cooperative and flexible. Oh, actually, guys, I don't think you met Charles what before kind of stuff you got? on this save. This Reaper dog. Okay, he has memory upgrades. We will get back to that monologue uh, after. Fire conductor. To equip this item, you need 15 body. Reduces all cyberware cooldowns. Oh, I like that. 
all need a body. Immune system increases all resistances by eight. Not interested. Nano relays reflex increases stand with stand and carazin of duration by one set. Just more armor. The lag seems like everyone has the lags. The classic arm upgrades. Smartling. Oh, this one. I'm definitely getting that. And that. Just increase their health by 20%. And yes, um. Oh, this is the stand with stand. Close time by 75% for 8 seconds. Cool down 30 seconds. Activate by holding E. Oh. But that means we won't have a cyber deck. But we are not really using our cyber deck, right? But that also means if whenever we want to uh, equip that, we have to come back here. Hmm. Maybe we try that later, but I don't know, dude, because we use the blind sometimes. I'm going to just try it. Got some next level tech on offer. Yeah, well, I do have the city's best suppliers on my side. Anyone I've heard of, I wonder? Oh, <laughs> unlikely. My suppliers like to keep things on the down low. Yeah? And why is that, Charles? Oh, you're just gonna... Okay. Yeah. So, we were saying... No. Oh. Are you hiding something, Charles? You're just gonna... Behind this door? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, we were saying... See you, see you in a bit, okay, dude? Okay. Um... There is a place that leads to there. Introducing Alois de Can, a deadbeat with a pretentious name. This is Gonna it. broke my trust and skip town. Well, fuck him. Only thing I care about now is the data he left in NC. Specifically, what's on his comp. Check the attachment, you'll see what to do. Oh, we could also break in. Actually, let's do that. We need one more tech ability. wasn't necessary but you can grab that upgrade anyway oh so now I'm not able to hack anything well shit yeah see I can still mark people and stuff, but no hacking. And I guess this will go bloody. Shit. 
so that was just a joy toy but whatever so hmm slow down time more the ability to ping distract uh, or blind all that stuff I think I prefer the cyber deck uh, instead of this this is just straight up if you want to go run around and uh, shoot people really quickly which is not a bad thing but the complete ability to lose all the cyber deck features sucks the reason i'm killing those because it levels up our skills And there are no repercussions to doing so because the police is dumb. Encrypted shard. Oh. Some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt the shard first, either open it through the notification when you acquire it, or find it later in the shards tab under, journal in the main, blah blah blah, then select track security. Oh, I never seen that. It's not this one. Uh yeah, but what shard was it? This one. Operation Carton Octum. Ah, fuck. For Nightcorp internal use only, the tests have come back successful. The artificial intelligence CNO-07 has proven itself capable of bypassing commercial device specific and macro security systems accessible to Nightcorp employees of the lowest ranks. None of the test subjects were aware that this experiment was being conducted on them. In compliance with the orders it was given, CN-07 focused mostly on subject HK-13, which at the time of the experiment's commencement was classified as calmed and empathetic. empathetic. After a period of subliminal conditioning, as you predicted, HK-13 began to display acute psychopathic behavior. The highlight was a dispute over coffee during which HK-13 strangled one of their colleagues, then jumped out of the 16th floor window of the research facility. We will soon commence the next phase of the procedure and install CN-07 onto devices for actual target. What? It's also, isn't HK-13 is from KOTOR? One of the Star Wars droids? Nice wheels. Okay, there is something else here though. Uh, what is it? Oh, here. Okay, so here's the thing. If you don't have Johnny uh, inside you and you do this quest, well, obviously he won't show up. 
So, given that, I highly advise you to do the main storyline until Act 2 as fast as you can. Uh, instant, what was that that we picked up? It was some kind of cyber mod, I think. A and, uh, and then you have more opportunities for Johnny stepping in the gigs. So obviously you can figure out what's going on around here. We are extracting uh, parts from uh, people, scavengers, and then what they are doing is selling it upstairs with the Ripper dog, which he obviously deny in a second. Where'd you come from? Who's right, just downstairs? So. You wanna talk about this? I don't know what you saw there. I don't go down there. I don't know anything. They forced me. I'm their hostage. Said if I try to escape, I'd be next on the table. I swear. You're lying. It's your right not to believe me. You also have the right to a discount. Discount? What do you mean? Special prices for special customers, like you, in exchange for- Forgetting for... what I saw in the basement? Yes, well put, well said. I really, I, I want to say fuck you to him. He, basically he has the body in place, right? Here. He acted like a smug asshole when we came in, like, oh... You know, business is booming. Fuck you. You even able to look yourself in the mirror? No. Fuck you. I, I understand. Yes. C could you wait here a minute? There's something I'd like to show you. Oh, where did... Oh, you stupid fuck. Oh, come on! <laughs> Officer, it's not what it looks like, okay? It's not. Let me just go into my safe haven, which is this inexplicably invisible door for you. You can't come in here, can you? I don't think they can come in here. Just wanted to drop the body. Is it worth playing hero? Let's be honest, probably other Reaper Dogs will have that uh, upgrade, right? Mm, I kind of feel bad, but... Bad because uh, we might have cut uh, off ourselves from upgrades. So, this is kind of silly. They just vanished, okay. More baddies, I think. Probably Maelstrom. Yeah. I'm gonna eat your spleen! Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, the electric. That's one of our implants that has a 2% chance of firing. How do I get that off the screen? So there. Also notice uh, the maelstrom are so uh, kitted out that their blood is like this weird android gooey stuff uh, from the aliens.
I don't know why I'm so lazy in games to just summon my vehicle. I, I should change that. So I just decide to run all the way over here. Before we deposit that, to sell the useless things. Hmm. Oh, it tells you if you want to sell it, if you have it equipped, that's good. Okay, should be good. Cream V, exactly the tech I wanted. Thanks, get closed. Actually, on second thought, killing that Reaper Dog was probably a really stupid. Because I was just going off about how badly I want to afford some upgrades. So, in hindsight, yeah. You see, for this reason, it's good. Definitely a big use in melee. Maybe I will keep it on ourselves a little bit more. I just want to quickly check out this clothing place. Jeez. There's also an event going on. I think I... Shit! Ouch. I think I also accidentally killed one of the civilians. Maybe we should try that slowdown with an actual gun. Hopefully it's saved seconds ago. Uh... No, it's a yeah, it did okay. What the? Meets back on the menu, boys. Okay, I can't loot the rest. Mr. Stud. I think we had some collateral by accident. Ah, 
Anything else over here? That's not. <laughs> Since when are gangers selling clothes? Isn't that Tiger Claw Inc? Since when do gangers sell threads? Since one of their bosses decided that they don't need tubes with fucked up spines. Got any nice threads for me? If thrift falls into your definition of nice, then sure. Mm hmm. Mods grants immunity to bleeding, allows you to land silently, increases armor by 50. Whoa, I guess armor values are not as they seem to be. Then, plus seven carrying capacity. I mean, we got some new uh, female clothes, I guess. Nothing like really something that stands out too much. Also look at our Here if we got anything else That silly helmet again Seems like we can see all the head armor pieces and face armor a lot uh, repeating the same ones over and over again. I see plenty of different like uh, shirts and stuff and outer jackets. Guess we could mod this. Yeah, let's do that. Plus armor. And then we can take off the mods. Yeah. I mean, they are there to use them, right? And we should equip another weapon. What we have? Katana. The stronger. Uh, Ingamajig Equip the shot here Something is stuck on my map The clothing vendor icon is like du duplicated and it moves, see? It's moving off the screen, what the fuck? to the twins we could try to fight once more how about this monster hunt Mr. White here, 
that little touch of Timberland right to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. So, what is this about? We like doing everyone a favor and making Eddie's doing it. Deal with Jotaro Shabo, twisted motherfucker like no other. He's a tiger claw and a sadistic scumbag. He's got a thing for scrolling XBDs. Who's to say whether whether he just gets carried away or and my money's on this? He gets off on the torture screams of his victims. Best guess is he is 17 murders to his name, but the injustice for the streets dead and missing joy toys is notorious. But the moxes are different. Mox Netrunners connected a few dots and tracked down Jotaro's studio. Oh, oh, quaint little club in Kabuki. This area is a no go for moxes, which is why they need a helping hand. Find this fucker Jotaro and tell him his days in the entertainment beast are done. Oh, it's this place. I tried doing this in the past. It didn't work out well. I guess we can loot after. Or maybe it's upstairs, okay.
Archive conversation, Jotaro Shobo and the Lazar Flores. Flores. Come over, I have a few buddies to get rid of. In cold storage. Why? Okay. Or yeah, I guess. Okay, I come tomorrow. They be commenting a few at La Katrina. So I toss in yours. Just come and take them. I don't care about the rest. Understood. But we didn't finish. Or oh, we just have to leave. Oh no, there's someone else. Hmm. Maybe if we have a key card, maybe don't need to level up just yet. I don't want to get out to stop the music. Maybe it's happening because of the turret there. Maybe someone else is alive on this level? Oh yeah!
Oh, jeez, finally. Okay, quickly we should loot then. And then... Uh, maybe we will just get that body upgrade so we can force open the door to get in if we don't find like an access card or something. Oh, interesting. And we are definitely going to change out our slowdown thingy. What? I guess no matter what I do, it will get... broken? Maybe... Maybe it doesn't work beco be uh, without my cyber deck? Okay, I think we can head up. Where was that uh, computer again? Maybe even if we have the cyber deck, we could just remote open that door. Oh, this is a destroyer. Oh, that's me. That was a destroyed cam. What about the files? Row files for edits, these are the BDs. Uh, Jotaro Shobon notes, ideas, inspirations. Expanding the brain dance art form, thoughts and ideas. Like in that film, days of uninterrupted sodomy, domination, playing with shit. Play how? Need novel ideas, groups of boys and girls. Bind two people facing each other but loose enough to move a little, force to do things to each other they don't like. Need to interrogate first to find out, such as fucking someone ugly, homeless, at the same time something to catch at least 5 seconds of pleasure mixed with either guilt or disgust. Link optics of two people to scroll BD of one through experience of the other, mixed feelings of recording body and linked observer, force the recording body to fuck a person the observer cares about deeply, requires a lot of setup and coordination, too much? Jeez. Studio equipment delivery from Femi to Jotaro. Handcuffs, okay. Breathing tubes, rope, aquarium, full suite, ambulance, electrodes, jeez. What should I scroll next? Binding and mutilation, coercion, distress, torsion, it's all become too ordinary, no longer fresh. Perhaps I, perhaps I later it with a feeling of impending death. Crescendo it throughout. It's a relatively simple approach for a stranger, tastier feel. I have many other ideas too, but my product also depends on your demand. My question is, what do you need, Lenny? Listen, all you gotta do is scroll and whatever comes out of it, I can sell. No need to scrape the bottom of the barrel just yet. Sales are good, let's leave a little room for imagination. 
for the unexpected. Your client is a unique bunch that knows more or less what to expect from you. Why hand over everything you got out of the gate? We sell them mystery, intrigue, people eat that shit up. If they're willing to buy something off the beaten path, not knowing quite what to expect, this just amps the thrill, a feeling they associate with your work. They be hungry for more, and we can use that. Trust me, don't oversink it. You know what they want, and I know how to sell it. All cameras off. The title to Tak Takeshi. Seize all forms of data logging on my floor, camps, everything, and set up dampers. It'd be impossible for everyone on outside to hear me, but to do it so it won't interfere with my BD equipment. I need this done now. International Cuisine. J. Hyun, Jotaro. Good morning, I'm offering a new dish that should satisfy your sophisticated palate. Ingredients include one black lamb, two pinky porky boys, and with an Asian twist, a younger hand and a rooster. In total, five young up-and-coming stars were dying to perform in your productions. Important. Make sure to apply the cream provided in your package to their biomonitor wounds. It would be a shame if they died in the middle of strolling because of some silly infection. Also, I equip each with a GPS in case any of them try to go out for lo any long walks. But most importantly, have some fucking fun, as of today they are your property. Yes, I know you don't like surprises, so I personally double check their histories. None have ever fucked professionally, so it's up to you to convince them and beg them in how you see fit. I only hope this time they prove more durable. I can't cook with soft ingredients. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so I think uh, we we have to force that door open if we really want to get in. Yeah, it's weird because didn't one of them say uh, that I killed downstairs that X is granted or something or was it at another uh, gig that I just did and I just mixed together the memories of the two. Where is that damn door? It's somewhere, I, s I think it's over there. So to be sure it needs strength, okay. Can do that. Our last upgrade. Crafting spec baseball bat for a legendary one. Send Winston Tiger pole. It's a mod. When Send Winston is active, defending an enemy restores 15 stamina. Huh? And it does that twice. And 2,000 euro dollars. Okay, so this was definitely worth it in my books. Okay, leave the area, complete the quest. Shithead in this city. Cream. Thanks, V. Closing the gig. Actually. Oh, finally we got the 20 street grab. We got Jackie's bike. Oh, oh, the lag is happening, but no matter, because we are nearing at the end of the episode as well. Uh, still don't have too much money.
Oh, interesting. That gun stayed there from all that uh, fighting a while ago. Did we get this tarot card? Okay. Seems like it's done here. The sun. Now do these disappear of the map? Yes. Excellent. You can buy a new car right over here. No. And return to Rogue. Which Reaper dock is this? That's that's our dock, right? Let's quickly check. Now if I call my vehicle, yeah, okay. Guess it will be all always the one that you last used. Oh shit. thinking about swap have a look well for one we are definitely swapping this back the biotech one and then should be able to afford every arm upgrade this one needs cyberlink uh smart link sorry monowire Monowire charges when equipped but not used in combat. Attacks with the charge wire deal bonus damage based on the charge level. Charge level and bonus damage deal decline with each attack. Monowire deals physical damage, deals a high amount of concentrated damage and can instantly dismember an enemy with one quick attack. Whiplag monofilament wire with a cutting edge on a only a molecule wide. This was the thing that we read about that they want to make this illegal. It does higher damage than the Mantis Blades, but come on dude, Mantis Blades sound so awesome. Gorilla Arms, I guess they are just strong attacks. Allow you to force open locked doors and rip turrets from their bases. What? Ah, this all seems so good. And now we could act. You know what? We are doing this. I'm sorry. We still have. Actually, I bet we can afford the other one as well. But finally, we can use smart weapons. So I think that was worth it. Just sell uh, some of these trash. This is smart gun? Yeah hell, hell yeah. Yeah hell, hell yeah. A weird as shotgun. That we could try as well. These are smart weapons as well. So smart just means the bullets uh, home in as it seems. I don't know what what the power needs. I think it's an eye implant. For that to work, the power one, bullets can ricochet off surfaces. I forgot, but we had like a tutorial about them before. I think we can even check it later. We go to our inventory, maybe. Yeah, 
Okay, I think we need like a slightly We need the uh, just a tad bit more headings. And I think we are good, but we just quickly sell everything that we no don't need. Oh, we have a new mask, a new helmet. Okay. I was thinking about swapping some. Uh, what did we want? Or oh, some kind of arms, right? Look, how could I not do the mantis blades? And then later we can check out others. Oh, we can do this as well now. Projectiles. I want the mantis blades. Oh shit. How do I activate them? Is this like... I just basically click, but how do you actually equip them? Oh, it replaced our fists. And we can switch between fist and mantis blades. I kind of want to try it out. I guess we can do that next episode. And maybe, I think we are near our apartment as well, so we might as well do the shooting range. Yeah, maybe that's the next step we are going to do. Unless we can try this out on some people. Over here, doesn't seem like there are any hostiles. Oh well, okay. We're going to try it out next episode. Uh... So thank you guys for watching and I will see you then. Bye.